anyways, back to what I was saying about rage, is that I got a lot of it. And I feel so much better now that I have screamed into the void. There was a guy walking on the trail, so I hope he doesn't think I'm being murdered. the hardest things about being in hermit mode would have to be just listening to your body because there's so much distraction there's always so much constant noise and you kind of have to make yourself slow down you're not allowed to hunt in these woods but bright orange for some sacral chakra because I'm filming trying to be creative trying to be in tune with my best self I was thinking about how I haven't put any music out and how music is probably not my career path since I don't want to share my music. I want it to be so personal to me and that's fine. And once I let go of trying so hard to make music and produce music for other people, I can just simply create how I want. And there's not such a hard grip on music. And normally I feel like I get into hermit mode when I'm about to take on a new creative project or I'm about to receive a lot of downloads or it's going to be a massive shift in my life. And at the time that I'm filming this, it's a new moon. We just had the new moon at the start of Sagittarius season on 11 22 And if you know me or if you've seen my other videos, you know I love numbers. So it's been really transformative already. And I've noticed a lot in like how I hold my finances and how I see myself when I create. And that creating doesn't have to be this really fucking hard, intense thing where I have to get like every bit of my soul out. I can create just because it's fun to create and I don't have to put myself in some sort of box. Music, for example, I was clinging really hard. I was like, music is my career, blah, blah, blah. But I was like never working towards it. And I think I was always having like this unrealistic goal. You have to read The Mountain Is You by Brianna Wiest or West, however you pronounce her name, because she's talking about how people have unrealistic goals. That way they always have something to cling to because your ego keeps you safe, right? And so if you're always working towards this one goal, then you're always going to be safe. But I was never feeling good enough because I was never working on that goal. And I was tired of feeling poor about myself. I was tired of feeling like I'm not creating like I want to. And I was tired of everyone asking me, what are you doing with your life? You're not doing anything with your life. Oh, music's not a good career, blah, 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 blah. When in reality, I didn't even want music to be my career. I just wanted it to be a form of expression. I didn't want to try to make that my fucking career. Sharing my spirituality on a platform like this and sharing my journey and just really wishing that I had these tools when I started out and that I knew where to look when I was looking for other people going through their spiritual journey. I, I want to be that catalyst for people. It's, it's, my, it's my mission to help others wake up to their truth and to their power. And I know that, and I can do that in any way I choose. And if I do want to do music down the road, that opportunity is always going to be there, you know? All I have to do is switch gears. But there is something about this form of creation that fits right in my soul. The ideas keep coming, the energy to work on it keeps coming. When I'm not filming, I feel like I am not 
focusing. I'm not where I need to be. But the second I turn the camera on, I feel like I'm exactly where I need to be. I'm doing exactly what I need to be doing. Look at me. Look at this. I'm just chilling. I'm doing what I want. I look gorgeous. The sun is beaming down on me. I am so grateful. Life is abundant you know i don't have to do anything i don't have to be anywhere i just got to be myself life is abundant and there's so much space to create the life that you want one of the biggest ways to create the life that you want is to let go of past selves and to let go of an identity that no longer serves you and let go of identity in general because this person that you are right now is probably not going to be forever and if you love where you're at right now, you're gonna be so much more in love with who you're about to become. You having fun exploring? And if you don't like where you're at, the beauty of living in this life, in this world, is you have the opportunity to change it at any time, at any moment. If you are watching this right now, I am so proud of you. I just saw a blue bird. Gorgeous. I know <laughs> that when these moments come up while I'm in hermit mode, I'm about to level up. I can run like the rest of an hour and an hour and burst back. I can run like the rest. too much media while I'm in hermit mode, such as Instagram, TikTok, or even just binging YouTube videos. Um, I'm not in the mood to consume any media that I feel like takes too much of, of my time and energy to focus on. I feel like I could be using that energy for other things. And I normally find that none of that ever really feeds me, like feeds my soul when I'm in hermit mode. I'm normally looking for something more gratifying. This is the perfect time to read books, to watch educational videos or TED Talks if I am in the mood to consume any form of social media. Normally when I am in hermit mode, I do not feel like consuming anything that I feel like could influence me too much. So I definitely stay off of Twitter and I definitely try to stay off of Instagram where I feel the need to consistently compare myself to other individuals. And I try to just let everybody rock how they are without holding too much of an attachment of what kind of person they are, what kind of person I should be, and focusing on this present moment, who I am right now. For me, this is one of those moments where I love to practice my poi. Poi can be used as a form of meditation, so I think that if you are looking for some sort of flow, Levy Wand and Poi are my two go-tos. They're super fun. I don't like listening to too much music that has lyrics because I feel like that also influences my own train of thought. Unless it's someone like Umi, um, I will link their music in the description box. So I like jazz, classical, EDM music. Yeah, yeah, I've been in that scene. I'm a tipper fan, I'm a tip head, whatever. Books, especially audio books, because this is like the perfect time to clean your space. I see 555, five, five. eh. Because I feel like I'm learning while still focusing on other stuff and I can create such as painting which is one of my favorite forms or just write while I listen to audiobooks or spending time in nature because it just feels good there's no one around just me and the trees and this is gonna sound really great honestly if you get it you get it and if you don't you don't and that's fine but the trees feel like my grandparents I feel like the trees know me and I know them. 
and I walk this path a lot if I haven't in a while because this is actually um, in my childhood neighborhood.